Hi Kiwis, here's your Alexander again. Well, sorry for uh, not making much videos lately, but I have been, well, kind of busy uh, with a big D. <laughs> well, uh, if you want to see my new Let's, let's Play videos, uh, then you should go to my uh, Proloop TV channel if you're German and uh, you're interested in Let's Plays, then that might be something for you. There is a Let's Play together Diablo 3 with my friend Carsten. But uh, for now, we are here for my new tutorial, and this time I teach you how to create a lava base. So, first of all, we need a base. Uh, this is uh, obviously one of my uh, plaster tiles, but uh, well, you could take any kind of base for that. <coughs> so, first thing uh, we're gonna, going to do is uh, use a little bit of cork uh, as a standing ground for the miniature. Just uh, break one or two pieces uh, off. Like for example, here we are going to have one and a smaller one for the second feet, maybe here. So that should do the trick. And we will simply glue that on with a little bit of super glue. So, just like that. Press it on. And everything should be fine. So <clears throat> most people just uh, then simply paint on now the uh, lava uh, here on the plain surface. But actually, oops, uh, lava doesn't look like that. Lava has a, a specific texture to it, and uh, I will show you how to utilize this. But well, I guess the super glue has sunken into the cork and we need a little bit more but well we can fix that okay I'll be back when this is actually dry okie dokie there we are back and uh, now we will uh, well create the texture for the lava and for that instance I use here the uh, plastic putty from uh, Vallejo model color but you could also use the liquid green stuff that uh, G, uh, GW produces. And for that instance I use a sculpting tool and I simply <coughs> put it onto the base. It doesn't need to be very thick. It's just there to give the surface kind of a texture. So. Just like that. <clears throat> I hope you can see that quite well. And just drag the tool into one direction. That's the floating direction of the lava. And that way we can create a nice texture surface to work with. Well, I will finish that up and be right back. Okay, this surface is now ready to go on. And what I will do now is use a very, very, very tiny little amount of sand and place it here and there on the lava. So just like that, and then very gently press the sand into the putty. Like that. So and shake it a little bit to remove the excess and then <coughs> the surface is ready. This needs uh, to dry now completely and I'll be back when this is dry. And there I am back. <coughs> As you can see I have primed now the base in the Army Painter spray primer color Desert Yellow 
and it's ready to be painted now. The first coat uh, we will apply is from Vallejo Game Color, the hot orange. So, just take your brush and paint on the orange color. It don't need to be 100% perfect covering because we go over it several times in several layers. But that will be a nice base, a nice base coat. <coughs> So I picked the desert yellow as a primer color because, well, if you want to work with oranges or yellows, <clears throat> then you need to be a little bit tricky about that. Uh, it will also work with white spray primer, but <clears throat> the more yellowish the primer is, the better. Uh, I would have used a demonic yellow spray primer if I ha would have had it here at home, but I actually don't have it, and so I'm stuck with a desert yellow. But this also will work. So. Quite an easy task, just grab a bigger brush and paint it on. So, I think <coughs> I have covered now everything. Yeah, looks like it. <coughs> and now I will use. Uh, yellow to highlight and for that I use flat yellow from Vallejo model color and I just simply mix it into the orange I have already so like that add a little bit of water just for the flow purpose and now I start to highlight the lava and I'm following the streaks of the modeling paste, the modeling putty I have put on previously. layer needs to dry now and I'll be back in a second. Okay, there I'm back and now it's time to highlight even more and to highlight yellow it's actually a good call to just put a little bit of yellow and put then the orange in because that way you can adjust <coughs> the amount of darkness of the orange red uh, the orange yellow now <coughs> can adjust it so and with a little bit of water in it you will then now start to apply it also Just like before, you should a little bit follow the streaks of the modeling putty that will give you a hint on where to actually highlight the lava now. In order to uh, create a really, really nice lava base, 
you need to uh, work carefully with uh, light and dark contrasts and with nice fadings and so you need to be working very carefully here <clears throat> now I take the pure flat yellow and highlight even more. Make it a little bit of uneven here and there. The brighter you go, the hotter the lava will be in the end. Okay, <clears throat> I think that's good. And uh, now I will highlight even more. And for that I, I use a little bit of white into the yellow. indicate the hottest spots. Just some streaks here and there. Okay. <clears throat> and to be honest, right now this doesn't look very lava -y at all right now. We will get to it. First I will uh, coat now the cork in black and uh, well actually I don't use uh, real black I use Vallejo model color smoke it is an almost blackish brown and yeah that's <coughs> a good color for lava. Well actually I would need two coats but it's okay. So I'll finish that up and be right back. Okay, there we go. You can see I've painted it black, also the corners of the base. And uh, yeah, I ended up using a 50-50 mix out of smoke and black, and it looks almost black. So what I will do now is paint up this uh, orangey lava even more and for that I use uh, a Freakflex transparent paint orange tint <coughs> and what that makes well you will see in a second I simply take a brush and paint this stuff on and this automatically increases the orangey look of this base and makes it more lava-y if, if that is even a word so and immediately while this uh, is still wet I use a maroon tint also a free black paint <clears throat> the dark red and well I go into it and place here and there darker red spots just here and there That should give the whole base a nice, <coughs> a nice glowy, shiny feeling. So, this needs to dry now, and I'll be back in a blink of an eye. 
Okay, the lava is uh, dry now while well, it is still glancing, but that's uh, totally what we are looking for. That is the paint. What I will do now is take a dry brush, take a little bit of the yellow, and now I'm dry brushing a little bit OSL onto the rocks. Just simply dry brush the corners around. the lower end with the yellow so just like that <coughs> so and then we take the hot orange again and we do the same again on the rocks, but now the upper parts more. So. Now we have OSL on the rocks. <laughs> So the top part of the uh, rocks we will now also dry brush very very gently and for that <coughs> we will use a stone grey. But like I said very very gently so be careful with your brush. Just like that. That should be enough. Okay. And now it's time to give the final bit of realism to the lava. <coughs> and for that we use now black. So and now very carefully we will paint all the little sandstones that we have previously placed into the lava. And that will indicate now little spots that have uh, dried and is hardening in the lava. Just like that. So, okay. And then I use a sponge, if I can find one. Uh, be right back. Okay, they are back. Just use a old blister sponge. Just rip off a tiny little piece. And with that, we will go into our black paint again and then we will simply tap on here and there turn a little bit of black now we need a little bit more the dots need to, need to be a little bit bigger so let's do this again Yeah, that's okay. So, and voila, we have a finished lava base. I hope you liked this little tutorial, and we'll see us in the next video. You're Alexandra.